Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I am going to show you how you can convert polar to rectangle or rectangle to polar using the Canon F789S GA calculator. So uh, I have on the screen here, as you can see, we have this value y is 3 and x is 4 and we want to find the r, uh, the radius or the magnitude of this vector and also we want to find the theta. So to convert to polar, because we have rectangular or Cartesian, we have X and Y, this is the button that we will use. So you see here, P-O-L. So I'm pressing shift and then pull. You see pull on the screen. And then first enter X, 4, and then we use this comma, which is used with shift, and then 3, then close it and press equal sign. Now it shows r is equal 5 and theta is 36.8. This is a degree and it's directly dependent on this. If this is radian, you will get a radian and radian a unit. So make sure. To see the full value, we can go to the left. But also, uh, if you want to always see it in case if you're doing a lot of polar and rectangle calculation, just press mode press shift setup and select line which is number two now let's do it shift pull four and then shift comma three close it now you will see that it shows that as r and theta separately but the problem is that you cannot do a regular fraction five if you do that you will see the fraction like this to come back to the normal mode just shift go to setup and select math number one now let's have uh, this example now we have x is three y is minus six now let's do it again to polar press shift pull three shift comma minus six for the minus i can use this minus or that minus minus six close and now we are getting r this is r and theta to see it we go this way there is another way to see r and theta theta you can come here minus 63 so this minus 63 is actually from here down so this is a value so if you want to get that value so you have to subtract from 90 minus 63 theta you can come here minus 63 so this minus 63 is actually from here down so this is a value so if you want to get that value so you have to subtract from 90 minus 63 also the value is shown uh, when you press recall x so this one shows the value of r and recall y shows the angle so these two angles 90 plus recall y so i'm using the value from y from the memory and it shows that that angle is 26.56 degrees very important to pay attention to that now uh, let's uh, do the uh, uh, let's find here now the x and y because we have polar we have r and we have theta but we want to find the uh, rectangular value of x and y so for the rectangular i'm pressing shift and this time rectangle now it asks for r first put r and then shift comma and then the theta so r is first and then the theta the theta here is nine not 40 degrees the angle starts from zero start from here and it goes counterclockwise so we have to have 90 plus 40 either calculate it in your mind and then put it here or you can directly put it here so 90 plus 40 so now we are getting x is minus 3 point something so which is correct so we are here on the left side and then y is 3.8 which is also correct to get x and y recall x you will see it this way and recall y you will get the x and y value now let's do the this one shift 
re rectangle because we want a rectangle. Now we have 68 degrees, so we have to consider that one. So the magnitude is 10, so we enter R first 10, shift, comma, and then 68 plus. We have to know that from here to here is 180 degrees, so 180. Now it shows that x is three, minus 3.7, which is correct, and y also should be minus and, and below, minus 9. To see it clearly and easily, just press uh, recall x and recall y. If you want to set if you if you want to set this by default to display those value properly, uh, for in for conversion of uh, coordinates, press Shift Setup, go to line number two. Now let's do it. Recall, and then ten Shift comma. 68 plus 180 this way you don't have to press it it shows x and y on the screen but the problem is that you cannot have that fraction that you are enjoying because now you put it as line not as math thank you for watching if you like this video please thumb up and also please don't forget to subscribe